Welcome Rob from my Geo Gardens here. So today I'm just going to do a quick video on how I sharpen lawnmower blades. Obviously you want to get the blade off the machine. I will probably do an in-depth tutorial type video when I get the chance. But uh, yeah, I use an impact, impact driver. It gets it off in seconds. So first thing I do is uh, clean off all the debris, all the bits of hard grass and mud that's stuck onto the blade. What I normally just use, if, I've, if I'm only just doing one blade at a time, I just get a little scraper and uh, just literally scrape it off. <clears throat> you know, I've got uh, things you can put in wire brushes and stuff, you get in drills and stuff like that, but I just don't bother really. It creates too much dust and you're more likely to take paint off, which you want to try and not do if you can help it. See, so yeah, that's all I do, just get everything all cleaned off. If you've got uh, little wings, little mulching bits here, get those all cleaned out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the first stage, get the blade clean. So that's the first step. I don't, I'm not bothered if it's perfect, but uh, as long as you get the majority of the heavy bits off, it should be fine. All right, so then my next step, what I do is uh, see how all these bits that are smashed and folded over, folded under. I'll take a flat file <clears throat> and I'll file it off on the back, keeping my file flush with the blade, I don't want to be putting any angles on this. I see far too many people doing double bevels, so they've got a bevel here and they'll put a bevel on the underside and uh, yeah, you don't want to be doing that in my opinion anyway. So you keep this as flush as possible, just filing it off, and you get a better quality cut when you've just got a single bevel. So yeah, that's what I do. So how often should you sharpen a lawnmower blade? Um, basically when it needs it. <laughs> There's no, uh, when people say, oh, I oh, sharpen it every two weeks or once a week or once a month. I think that's a load of rubbish because I could be cutting a lawn and in the first 20 seconds I could hit a couple of rocks and that blade's game over, you know? So if you use your ears, basically, if you hear your mower hit anything, you can, you can normally hear it if you hit a stone or a bit of wood chip. If you hear something, if you hear your mower hit something, just lift the deck up and check your blade, check you haven't got any uh, smashed up bits. But generally, you know, I'm probably twice a week maybe sharpening, professional use. Mind you, I have got quite a few mowers, so it's not as if I've got one mower and um, that mower does all the work. So my, my workload is shared through you know, handful of mowers, but um, certainly, certainly once a week minimum, I would say, if you're a professional. Um, again, homeowner, if you're just cutting once a fortnight, and as long as it's not too bad. But I, I think if you're a homeowner, I'd be checking once a month. Just lift your deck up and just have a look at your edge. Just run your finger along. Well, I say don't run your finger along it. <laughs> you don't want you cutting your finger, but just you know, be sensible. If it looks like it's got a nice pointy edge then it should be fine if it uh, looks beaten up you've hit something or whatever then um, you know take it off get it sharpened but yeah use your ears is, uh, is what I'd suggest you know check it once a day I mean it's, all you've got to do is just tip your mower back and just have a look have a little feel and uh, yeah you should be good so right this is my setup for grinding blades, a little uh, mini bench top grinder, belt sander, great little bit of kit for blades. So I've got my shop vac set up for it as well to uh, collect all the particles and stuff. So yeah, I, I get my blade on here and a couple of passes. Why do I like using this? 
because it provides uh, a flat grind. A lot of angle grinders and other things do a slightly curved grind. This is pretty much a 100% flat grind, which is what you want. You want a flat bevel, you don't want a radius. It uh, works a lot better. And uh, this is a tool I found which gives me that option. And another, another thing why I like using this is I can adjust the angle. You know, I'm not set to uh, like some of the American sharpeners, the RB, or whatever the name is, um, you know, they're, they're set for like a 30 degree angle and it's harder to um, change it with these. I can just angle it to whatever angle I want. You know, it's, uh, it's ideal. The grit I use on this, I think this is a 60 grit. This is a bit worn, it needs to change, but uh, yeah, the belts are pretty cheap for these. Yeah, very easy to use you know you just once you you just find your angle you can look over the top and you can just back and forward don't stay in one spot too long and a bit of kit that I find really useful is an angle checker little angle finder it uh, keeps my blades accurate so what I'll, do, I'll just check I'll come in here and I'll check and I'll make sure I'm at the right angle I want generally around 30 degrees for lawnmower blades Probably around 25 to 35 is the optimal range. Um, it's one of the biggest things that a lot of people get wrong. They'll put a too steep an angle on it and uh, wonder why it's not cutting very well, not bagging very well. The shallower the angle, the better your lift, your wings are going to work, in theory. <laughs> that's my, uh, uh, you know, that's my take on it anyway. But obviously, the lower you go, the the worse your edge is gonna be it's not gonna hold up very well so again around 30 degrees is pretty much the benchmark and uh, yeah I'll use this check on check on right check on where I'm where I need to be and um, if I'm not obviously just adjust up or down either way but yeah so I'll do that get the both these sharp if I feel it's getting a bit too hot on this side, I'll just flip it over and just, just start grinding the other side a bit and then come back to this side. But I'm basically just sharpening it until I'm getting all these I'm getting all those dents and nicks out pretty much. Getting it back to a decent edge. <coughs> I'll just show you on this blade. See, so yeah, I like this blade here. You can see it's got a very nasty chunk missing. If that chunk was to this right hand side here, I would definitely take it out. But because it's there, I'm going to leave it. Um, because, like I say, the majority of the cutting is done on this tip section here, probably the first 20 mil to an inch, mostly on the tip. So I'm not worried about that. So I'll leave that in, but I will grind the rest of it. If that makes sense. It's, it's a bit of a waste of a blade to, to take this back. Two or three mil. I'll have to do it onto both sides, otherwise it'll be out of balance. So yeah, if you've got really big nicks, as long as they're not on this end inch, I'd say leave it in and uh, not worry about it too much. Obviously you still need to grind and get this, get this back. But yeah, see any big ones I'm not too worried about unless it's on the edge, in which case you have to get rid of it. So 
nice, very nice finish. The only downside to using this little belt belt grinder is it uh, it kind of leaves a bit of a step grind, is what it's called. Because if you've got a angle grinder, you could, you sort of come out of and you create a radius. So it's a hook grind when you when you come out. And if I was to continue with this. just about picks it up there it um, it kind of stops and you've got a bit of a step which which means the blade could shear it's a very unlikely but it could do so the only thing you occasionally might need to do is just take an angle grinder and just grind a hook back into this if that makes sense so yeah you don't really want a step grind you want a hook grind so this grind follows in and tapers into this leading edge One other thing I'd mention as well is you always hear everyone say, "Oh, we just follow the follow the factory angle." That's great if the factory tolerances are good, but uh, when they're not, so like I say, these two blades are off the same mower. Obviously, one's a left hand and one's a right hand. So this this blade's angle is around. Just over 35. Whereas this other one this angle is just under 30. So you've got completely different angles there. I'm hoping you can see that that's this left hand side one's more shallow, this right hand side one's more steep. So again, don't always go on uh, what the um, what the factories go by, because like I say, both both off the same mower, but completely different angles. So yeah, this is why this bit of tools, uh, this bit of kit's good. I've got a little digital uh, angle finder as well. This thing has uh, helped my grinding quite a lot, actually. It's made my blades spot on. Yeah, so I cool down a bit. So when I've got a really bad blade like this one, I'll sharpen a bit of it and then I'll take my flat file and give it quite a few uh, strokes to try and get back to a straight edge. It just uh, it helps with the grinder I find. You can you can see what you need to grind better. See so yeah, how once I've got my edge nice and sharp, I'll take a little chainsaw file, flat file, um, you know, a little fine little file, and I'll just very lightly just blunt off the face of this edge, only fractionally. Clean off the burrs on the back side with me little flat bar. I'd say this is just a little blunt one as well. It's well used. I'll just keep one around for doing this, but just ever so slightly, just blunt this face off. That's still sharp. I could still probably cut my fingers on that if I run over quickly. But you just want to just fractionally blunt it off so it's not a razor. With regards to how sharp you should be getting your lawn mower blade, it all depends. If you're a homeowner and you're only cutting your own lawn, and like I say, you know, there's not much debris. There's no sort of mulch or wood chip on the areas or stones and that which get in the lawn then 
make it as sharp as you can. Honestly, is uh, the sharper the better when you're cutting grass. But the reason why most pros will sort of blunt them off slightly is so the edge holds a bit better. I mean, this is still going to cut really nicely and leave a nice finish. But if you had that razor sharp, you know, the edge, we often hit a lot of stuff, so the edge is not going to hold as well. But uh, yeah, if you've just if you're just cutting your own lawn at home, you know, how about it? Make it razor, razor sharp. But you still need to clean the burrs off. You don't want any, you know, you want a clean edge if that makes sense. So you might just fraction. You just get a bit of really fine sandpaper and just just run over. But yeah, for pros, we need a bit of durability. Obviously, you don't want to compromise on your cut quality, so it still needs to be sharp. But uh, yeah, just not absolutely razor sharp. So the final step we need to do is we now need to balance this blade. Make sure it's balanced. So yeah, I've got this specialist wheel balancing bit of kit. So we'll get the blade on. Hold it to... Uh, Power learn, see if it drops. Pretty good. Again, that's pretty good. I'll normally flip it over and double check. I'm happy with that. So yeah, if, if you've got one of these, Anything probably past there, I would sharpen up. Obviously, this basically tells you if one end's heavier than the other. So if this left hand is heavy, if there's more material in this section than the other section, it will drop down. So um, yeah, all you need to do is basically just grind some more off to uh, even it up. I say I've got a video on different ways to um, balance blades but uh, yeah this is a very handy bit of kit okay I haven't got any that are <laughs> let's put this new wee bang on and let's see if this is uh out of balance. So there we go, that's a brand new blade there. And this will be a heavy end. So you would sharpen, take some more material off this to even it up. So that's one reason why you should balance new blades. Because that was out of balance. So yeah, there we go, that's how I sharpen my lawnmower blades. Like I say, I really like this bit of kit. I've used a lot in the past, bench grinders, all sorts of stuff, angle grinders, and but uh, for me, I really like using this. It gives me a bit of uh, flexibility. I can change change my angle if I need to, depending on what I'm using. So if I'm, I've got a mulching blade, I might do a slightly steeper angle so the edge is better. But uh, yeah, it's very, very versatile. So there's the wee bang blade. Very nice edge on it. And that was the really bad nick that we had in it right there. It's a little bit on the corner. I'm not too worried about that. It, uh, it feels sharp enough so that should be fine. Again, single bevel don't be doing two bevels it's uh, trust me it cuts a lot better when you've just got a single bevel you're keeping the bottom part of the blade equal to the opposite end whereas you start you start taking a grinder to this under edge it's uh, yes it's only fractionally we're talking you know half a millimetre or whatever, or a millimetre at the most, but it's, uh, if you want to take your blade sharpening to the next level, don't be doing that.
that's just the, the quick way of getting a sharp edge basically so you know people grind this and grind this and realize oh I need to take more off to get rid of this lot so rather than carrying on grinding here they just grind the back and that's the quick way to do it and I understand it don't get me wrong but uh, not right in my eyes but yeah that's just me if I've got a curved mulching blade as well I haven't got one on me at the moment but uh, when you've got the ones with the curves in what I'll do is I'll still use my little bench grinder for the flat bit and then for this curved section this isn't this this isn't one but one when you've got one with the the edge that you know the wavy edge I'll take an angle grinder basically and just use my angle grinder to uh, grind that section up Right, so there we go, that's just how I sharpen these blades, and that's the wee bang, that brand new one. That edge was absolutely awful, this corner. Took a lot of grinding to get that back. So yeah, any questions? Let me know in the comments and uh, I'll try and get back to you. Yeah, I'm just showing you how, how I do things anyway. You know, you do things however however it works for you. That's the main thing. But yeah, always keep these sharper. A lot healthier for the grass. A lot better on, on the mower as well. It will bag a lot better. So uh, yeah, definitely keep on top of this. And you'll be... Uh, You'll be laughing, it'll be a joy to cut the lawn instead of a pain. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching everyone. Cheers.